This is the lecture for analyzing ethical dilemmas in Chapter 1, The Importance of Ethics in the Criminal Justice System. At the end of this short lecture, you will be able to differentiate between an ethical issue and an ethical dilemma. You will be able to compare and contrast two processes for resolving ethical dilemmas. You will be able to explain the process for analyzing dilemmas and making ethical decisions. And you will be able to analyze an ethical dilemma and arrive at an ethical decision. There is a distinction between an ethical issue and an ethical dilemma, and it's very important that you understand this difference. An ethical issue is a public policy issue involving ethical questions that does not require an individual to act upon the issue. The only thing the individual has to do, has to do is to determine whether they oppose or support the social issue. An example of this would be juvenile life without parole, capital punishment, or even, uh, or even um, the abortion issue. On the other hand, an ethical dilemma is usually the responsibility of an individual and it requires a decision to be made when there are ethical considerations. Ethical dilemmas are very prevalent within particular professions and occupations such as law enforcement, corrections, attorneys, and other individual occupations. There are two processes for resolving ethical dilemmas. One is an intuitive and moral thinking. This involves uh, simply making a decision based upon one's upbringing and past experiences. In other words, each of us has some inherent notions of right and wrong that are based upon our values and the societies and cultures in which we live. Then secondly, there is a critical thinking process for resolving ethical dilemmas. This is non-intuitive. Oftentimes, the ethical decisions that one is required to arrive at will contradict what our intuitive moral thinking decision tells us. But these critical thinking, non-intuitive dilemmas and processes apply principles established by philosophy and moral concepts that have been accepted by many, many professions. When you are presented with an ethical dilemma, there's a six-step process that you will go through in order to analyze that. And this is the process that I want you to use on your quiz and when we deal with other ethical issues throughout up ethical dilemmas throughout this course. The first step is to one acknowledge that there is an ethical problem. When you acknowledge that there is a dilemma, the first thing you need to do is state specifically what the dilemma is. You have to state it and it needs to be clearly stated. For example, uh, you cannot say that I think we have a problem in finances. What you want to say is, I believe this police officer, and I'm just using law enforcement as an example, I believe this officer is perhaps receiving money from suspected criminals. He's going to the bank frequently. He has large sums of cash. He stops here every week. He's consorting with known drug dealers. So you state clearly what the problem is. Then you want to examine the situation, step two. You collect all of the facts in the situation. As I indicated before, one fact would be that as you're out on patrol, you make a stop at the same location, um, the same time every week or even every day. You want to state that the officer, after you make the stop, he then says, let's go to the bank he comes out of the location with cash that he did not have before and he has a bank deposit and the officer may be buying um, spending excessively. So you want to state the facts clearly. Then you want to identify those individuals who are involved in the dilemma. In the fact situation that I just explained, you have the known drug dealer, you have the officer who may be your field training officer or a partner, and you are now involved also. Step three, you want to state the facts that are relevant to making a decision. Note that the facts here, relevant facts, may be different from the facts in the situation. 
The relevant facts in our particular example are that one, the officer has a large wad, wad of cash. He has the cash after he goes into a location where there's a known drug dealer. He's depositing the money in his account. Um, so those are the relevant facts. Then you want to examine oneself and the possible implications and consequences of the res and responsibilities. Okay, so here you are going to ask yourself, what is my culpability in this situation? What is my responsibility? What are the implications for me if I do nothing? What are the implications for the officer based on what you know uh, to be the code of conduct? Then you have to consider the consequences of reporting. In a in a you know in a perfect world, we would think that you could report misconduct. You would receive a pat on the back, and that would be the end of it. But that is not the case. There are often consequences intended and otherwise for reporting. The consequences in our fact situation would be that one, you may be blackballed as reporting. Two, you may have a fellow officer going to jail. You don't know what's going to happen to the officer. You may have a drug dealer who is now breathing down your back. So there are often consequences intended and unintended. Then four, you want to recall the ethical principles and theories that apply to this situation. In our example, we do have law enforcement officials, officers do have uh, codes of conduct that they must adhere to. So you want to apply those ethical principles. Uh, standards to this particular fact situation to see what your course of action should be. Five, you want to identify the available options. You can intervene with the superior, you can ignore it, and you can intervene directly with the officer. And six, you want to make a decision. You want to make the most ethically appropriate decision under the facts and circumstances and then you want to act on that decision. So these are the steps that will be used in every situation for arriving at a solution, an ethical solution to an ethical dilemma. Now, in step four of this lecture, what I want you to do is analyze an ethical dilemma. This will be placed in Blackboard for your discussion number two to give you some additional practice. This is a graded assignment.